Hi everybody, back with another handwriting-esque video. This one's going to be about making borders. Um, a few people have asked me to do a video on borders. Other people have asked for a second um, handwriting video, but I don't really know what else to say. So if you have suggestions for that, please let me know. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> so my tips for borders are kind of similar to the handwriting ones. So um, mapping out your space, um, different uh, styles, balancing your pages, and then a few other ones, measuring, uh, variety, and inspiration. So the map style and balance is kind of the same as the handwriting. So if you want a detailed explanation of that, check out the handwriting video. Uh, for measure, um, na, 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 na. grab my, oh, can I reach it? Oh, sorry, I'm like straddling the tripod and I should have put this stuff where I could reach it better. And trying to find a good example. Machine. All right, well, look at this one. All right, so what I mean by measuring is um, measuring out the space that you have and, and making everything the same size. It doesn't really matter with the freeform borders, but if you're doing like squares or things like that, it's important that they're measured so that they look clean and crisp and what have you. Uh, and inspirations. You can find a lot of inspiration for borders and patterns and what have you in just everyday life. If you see like, I don't know, a picture frame or something that you think is really cool, you can turn that into a border and add it into your, your file of facts or whatever it is, your journaling, whatever it is you do your handwriting kind of stuff for. So that's my tips. Um, at the end of this video, I will do a little flip through of some of my file of facts pages to show you how I use these kinds of borders um, and different variations. All right, let's see if I can adjust that a little. All right. So the basic um, borders that I generally use are either bubbles, squares, or freeform. So I always use these cloud um, borders. They're like my favorite ones. Very simple, you can put them around anything. I love using them. They're so easy and so quick. Uh, another one, square, I always use a ruler for that. Um, and just make a square. There we go. Voila, border, yay. I'll go into different variations of these a little bit later. I'm just going over the basic forms that I usually use. Uh, another one is, I can't figure my ruler, is the, um, it's just like a loose scribble circle, like, like that. Um, free and easy, it's very artistic looking. Uh, another one is just like a spiral I always think of a phone cord when I see these, that kind of deal. Uh, or you can just like frame out, so if you wrote something, you can just add kind of slash marks and bring attention to it that way. Uh, you can do um, like a scallopy kind of looking thing. So if I just mark my my corners here. So you can just do a little um kind of scallop and make a 
uh, little frame. You can also outline whatever it is that you've written or or what you have on your page. So if I wrote um, like laundry you can just kind of go around it and make a really close bubble like that. I used to do this all the time. I haven't done it much lately, but I still like it. Uh, what else? Banners. Um, they look complicated, but they're pretty easy to do. So if you have a, you've written something and you've made a, you've made a square around it, you can just come out to the side a little down from the top and add um, a banner like that. I usually color in the bottom parts so that it gives it kind of depth that looks like it's springing up off the page. You can also just do this even simpler. If you just had a square and you just pull out, you know, the sides. I know this isn't, you know, it's just free handy. It's not perfect. Um, I'll show you an example of when I take my time to do these. Uh, what else? You can do a simple square, um, but leave open the sides and then add something. I usually do little bubbles and then I'll either put like a circle in there or a heart or something like that. And so I'm looking at my, my cheat sheets over there. Don't tell anybody. Uh, I think, oh no. You can just do a an open-sided, ooh, that's not straight. Open-sided square and in the corners put, you know, hearts or, or whatever you like. That. Um, what else? Or you can do like a, a picture frame style. So if you have, uh, here's what you've written, la 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 la. Okay. You can make it look like a picture frame and add, um, you know, details to it. And this is kind of hard to do so small. Um, like so. Uh, I, I have a wreck this journal thingy i haven't done much in it so don't ask me to show you because i've been lazy but i did start the stamp page and oh no <laughs> i can't get close enough oh no we're gonna we're gonna there we go okay so uh this one you're supposed to put stamps on so i made them go into little picture frames so you could do the same thing for your um, borders if you wanted to I tend not to do very detailed um, borders on my weekly pages. If I want to do something like really detailed, then I'll usually do it on like um, a note sheet or something like that. I like my pa my weekly pages to be like kind of clean and crisp, so I don't do very detailed uh, work in them generally. All right, so let's move on to uh, ways to accent these basic shapes. So what I've done is just um, pull out some basics so I can show you different things you can do. Um, first thing, if you have a box. So I like to put a border inside the box. These, the easiest way to do that is to just mark the corners with a dot and then connect the dots. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that's better. All right, so then just connect the dots. I find that's easier than trying to measure, uh, like with the ruler. I don't know why. Usually I'm all about like exact measurements, but I find this easier. All right, so now you have kind of a picture framey style. 
So you can fill, you can leave it blank or you can fill the interior of this box any way you want to. So you can use um, dots. I'm a big fan of dots. So you just run a line of dots around your, your picture frame. Okay. Or you can do like a little stitch marks. Turn this in a little bit more. Focus. Focus. Come on. Focus. Focus. Sorry, I tried to focus it and turned it off. Anyway, you can add little stitch marks, which is just little, you know, dashes around um, the inside like so you can add uh, what am I thinking a diagonal that's the word I want diagonal um, lines a lot of times it's easier to do this with a ruler than to try and do it freehand so that you keep an angle that you want dun, 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 dun. And then you can color in, you know, make it, I'll do this quickly, and make it striped. Like that. Okay. Uh, you can do the same kind of idea with just, um, with just squares. So if you went all the way around, um, and then you fill in some of the squares. Oh, I missed one. We'll just make that bigger. There we go. Okay. Like that. I really like this border. I think it's really clean and it looks nice. Okay. Or you can just do lines to add kind of um, weight or depth. So you can just, um, you know, make slash lines and Fill your border that way, like that. If you don't want to double border, you can accent it just as a square. You, know, you can make um, dashed lines without a second border and just go around like that, or dots um, without having a second line. Or you can take the lines out all together and just make your square with dash marks or with uh, dots without any um, without any solid line if you wanted to like that okay what else all right let's move on to clouds so you can do the same things. You can do dots and and slashes um, to accent your your clouds or circles or whatever shape you want to do. You can use the same accents um, with any shape that you want. Another thing you can do, you can double these as well, the same as you did here. You can double it. Um, and then fill in the the little space that you've made um, with whatever you know whatever design you want okay uh, you can um, make it I don't know how, how what term to call it like radiate so if I had this um, this cloud I could add and this does take time I, I will preface that I can add um, little dots around the around the edge like that and then slowly build this out with really dense clusters of dots and then less dense clusters until it's, you know, it, it kind of radiates out. I'll show you an example of this um, at the end. 
Da, da, da. No. Ah, you can make it three-dimensionally. So if you had a cloud, you can come off um, the side of the cloud or square or whatever. Okay, and then kind of, um, I usually use slash marks for this or you can color it in um, so that it looks like it's popping off the page. Like that. Okay. Uh, and of course, oh, I forgot one of my basics, my staples is the speech bubble. I love speech bubbles. I like having the stickers or the characters on my page kind of interact with my schedule. So speech bubbles are easy. You just, you just make a circle and you add a little triangle and you have a speech bubble. Um, so these are the borders that I generally use, um, in my, in my planner. So I will now switch to Filofax and show you some examples of how you can use them. Let's put that away. I don't keep many, oh, that's tight. I don't keep a lot of weeks in my file effects. I only keep about three months. Um, so I'll grab my storage one as well. All right. Let's see, bubble. I'm trying to find some good examples here. Mm -hmm -hmm. Here's the one with the, just the lines and the hearts. Simple and a bubble, slash marks, a square with dots. Okay. Here's a 3D bubble. Uh, here's the um, kind of the the radiant dot kind of thing. Uh, here's a square where I just made circles and filled it in. So we do that. Here's a, a double stitched square. Uh, mm -hmm. Here's a 3D speech bubble, simple. Here's a, a scallopy picture frame. Let me grab my other. I store my weeks in a cheap uh, punctuate planner from Staples. If you go after um, after the new year, they're super cheap. All right, I have my first week here. Um, so here's like the kind of the tracing kind of dealio. Another double stitch square, a little different variation there. Mm -hmm. There's a dot, dot cloud, and a scalloped one. Here's the um, kind of the accent lines. That would look like, and uh, like a quick circle. Llamas. I thought I had a. Where is that? We could do something like that where it's not really a border, but it kind of um, closes it in. I thought I had. Where's the little banners? You can do a heart. Here's a cloud with little, little slash marks Do it that way. Here's the square with the fill in the lines. Mm -hmm. 
Um, here's a one a little bubble one with hearts. You can make it fit the thing so it rains, so I made a border of a cloud. for but I don't know where it is somewhere in here is a banner oh there it is you do this kind of this kind of banner the little flaggy part and there should be another one ah like that kind of banner look You can do just a simple um, square and then just add a darker colored polka dot. I think that's it. So there is my, my attempt at a border tutorial. If you have other things you want to, um, you want to see or that kind of stuff, just let me know, leave it in the comments. Also, if you have suggestions, for another handwriting video, I'm not sure what else to add. So if there's things that you're um, you're wanting to see, let me know in the description bar. And I guess I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye bye.